What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. As you can probably tell, I'm in an A320 sim, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what happens when we release the fire switch. This is such a common oral question. It doesn't matter if you're doing an oral on an A320, 737, 350, 380, Gulfstream, whatever, okay? What happens when we release the fire switch? Now, you know us here, we like to simplify the complex. And so I'm gonna share with you to remember the following numbers. Two, one, two, two, two. All that simply means is the number of answers as we work our way down the panel and the systems, the respective systems. So two answers on the fire panel, one answer on hydraulic, two for fuel, two for electric, two for air conditioning. Here it goes, all right? The two answers here, when we release this fire switch, of course, we would first confirm and then open it and release it. We will silence the oral alert, the constant repetitive chime, that CRC will silence the bell, arm the squibs for discharge, that's why they illuminated right here. Those are the two answers. The one answer here for the hydraulics, we will close the engine-driven hydraulic shutoff valve, all right? Let me say that again. The hydraulic shutoff valve for the engine-driven pump we're going to close that shutoff valve for the fuel. We're going to close the low pressure fuel valve and the IDG fuel return valve. On the electrics, we're going to trip the generator offline and deactivate the FADEC power supply. And on the air conditioning, we're going to close the respective bleed valve and pack flow control valve. Two, one, two, two, two. The probable question. What happens when we release the fire switch? The preferred response other than just simply saying 21222 two, two, because the examiner probably won't know what that means, but you're gonna elaborate further and go into those details I just shared. Now, you could say something as simple as, well, we're gonna trip the generator, trip hydraulics, close the bleed valve, or shut off bleed air, right? Arm the squibs, that's a very generic answer and sometimes accepted, but what if they start digging? Huh, what fuel valve are you closing? The low pressure fuel valve, the IDG fuel return valve. What bleed valve are you closing? The bleed valve for the respective engine and the pack flow control valve. How detailed do you want to get? That is the beauty of our videos at onestepprep.com. We'll give you the probable question, the preferred response, and also a systems review so that most importantly, you're actually learning the system and not just memorizing stuff. Because what happens if they ask you a different question a different way, they start to target it from a different angle, and now you're straying from just pure memorization, but they want to see correlation. Do you actually understand what it is you're discussing? At onestepprep.com, we'll give you a systems review first, then we give you the probable question, then the preferred response. But because you have that system for you first, it doesn't really matter how they ask it, you're gonna be able to answer it. Want to enjoy your friends and training program success? We'll see you there.